Mastering the uppercut is probably one of the most challenging things to do. What I like to do is I like to keep my elbows close to my rib cage, my chin tucked in, and then I vertically drive up and back. So I have to rotate the shoulder, I breathe out, and then I always come back to my initial position. Whoa, step back. Did you just push advanced? Whew. It's on. Always in the zone. All right, great little warm up here with a focus on targets. We're going hunter for some targets. So, combat stance, left foot forward, boxing guard, hands up, elbows into the rib cage, lead with the left jab. Knuckle right down the center of the target. Now, turn the chest, top right corner, top left corner. Same arm though, still the left hand, left hand, left hand. Yeah, you got it that time. Let's go. All right, so using the big knuckle and you're aiming in the center of the target. But you're gonna turn your chest towards the corners. Yeah, that was it. Now release your heel and turn your chest and your hips. And relax, no power, no speed, no pressure. Last one, uppercut, left, right. Shoulders are rolling, now watch the down punch and then single battle rope slam. Same thing, it's your left hand both times. So use the big knuckle and then use a the little finger and stamp it. Good. Okay, bend your knees and get down so you're not just reaching down. Get down, people. This is your warm up. Full combo. Okay. Turn the chest, roll the shoulders, bend the knees, get down, stand up and jab. Woo now, a good uppercut comes with a whole lot of shoulder rotation. So let's see if the next time we can start to swing those shoulders around and use our legs a little bit more. Deal or no deal? Deal right, right foot forward, single jab, go. Top left corner, top right, turn the chest, release the heels. Yeah, here comes the left, turn the chest. Let's go. Now, are you drilling that big knuckle into the center of the target? Because precision is going to help you later. We might not be in the zone right now, but we're trying to get ready to be in the zone. So let's go quality. Let's bring that heat. All right, uppercut, right, left. How about those shoulders? Are they there now? Right hand, right hand. So imagine you've got an itch in the middle of your back and you're trying to roll your shoulders to scratch that itch. Hey, now we got it. Good job. Come on, get down. Get down a little bit further than last time. Come on, people. Yes, full combo. A great warm-up leads to a great workout. So let's get into it. Go on, last one. Boom, warm-up done. Start in the left combat stance. Put your boxing guard up. It's one left jab, one right cross. Let's go. Jab and cross. Left and right. Tuck your chin down. Fully extend the punch. Break the targets. Feel the muscles starting to build. Feel it working. As the music gets faster, it's coming up now. We've got six left uppercuts. Let's go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And a jab, cross, jab, cross. Just on your left side. Come on, hit the jab cross, four, three, two, one, twist, rotate inwards, yep, feel the muscles in your body, stand up, feel the legs start to work, feel the hips even working, and hold, now change stance quickly, come into a wide front stance, take the battle rope so the control is above your head, practice, slam down once, slam down twice, and then just the left arm on its own, got it, down, up, down, up, Left arm, one more practice. Down up, down up, left arm only. Now it's gonna be real fast, two slams, go. Quick, quick, just the left arm. Double in the middle, just the left arm. So you're bending your knees, especially as the controllers come down to the outside of the thigh muscles. And embrace your abs really hard. 
That's what we call our natural handbrake. Yep. Oh yeah, chest up. One more time. Come on, slam it. Slam it. Boom. All right, right foot forward. Combat stands, folks and guard. Hands up. Jab cross, right left. Get it, get it. There's the beat, there's the build up. But we ain't gonna be the build ups, because this time we've seen what's coming. We know how this track rolls. Speaking of rolling, try this. Roll in and out of those uppercuts. They're coming for you. Six in a row. You've got this. Incoming. Watch out. Let's go. Six uppercuts. Jab cross, right, left, four. Go. Uppercut. Hit it. Work on that roll, bend your knees, roll in, roll in and out, in and out, in and out. Hit the target, she says, of course. We know you got that target. Last one, up top. Chill, front stands, controllers up. Battle rope slam, down, go. Now this time your right arm. It's like you're pulling it further out, out of the way. There you go. Feel the muscles in the upper back. Bend your knees. This is core training, speed training. Hit that tempo. Let's go. Right arm. Breathing goes up. There's some intensity happening here. You got to get it. Don't hold your breath. Stay with it. Four more. Big core training. Battle ropes. Big core training. Crunching those ribs to the hips. Nice work. Last one. All right, that's how we're going to finish. We're going to go back to that awesome battle rope move. You're going to do two slams down the middle, one on the left, two slams in the middle, one on the right. We're alternating, baby! Let's go! Middle, middle, left side. Middle, right side. Go! I feel like jumping. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm almost leaving the ground so I can slam the ropes down with absolute force and commitment. Yeah! We're training! Exercising, we feel amazing! Time! You want to be in a left combat stance, put your dukes up, start with a single left jab. Power. One. And one. One, you get the picture. So think of these as long range strikes to begin with. Full range, meeting the target as it comes in. Now it's gonna set you up for a short range strike. These are isolated short range uppercuts. Uppercut and then a downward hammer fist. So normally in an uppercut, we would get you to rotate, roll in, lift your entire body and come back to your stance position. But for this one, as you see, stay in on the uppercut, stay forward, and then drop down with the little finger to the hammer fist. Stay in. Awesome. So short range uppercut, short range hammer fist. Brace your abs really hard. Awesome. Just one more practice and then it's going to get really interesting. Jab cross for eight. Eight, seven, six, five. Short range uppercut, hammer fist twice. Just listen to the beat and hit the rhythm of the beat. Did you get it? One, two, one, two. Hit the beat. Up and down. Awesome. Okay, now you're scoring points. It's going to get faster, so we're going to double up the short range and uppercut fast. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. What was that? Seven total strikes, yep. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, you can. Right through the middle. So on that last uppercut, you can make it a traditional one. Yep. Four on in line with the middle of the chest. But we're gonna finish down, finish down, finish down! Nailed it. Time, yeah, I'll give you some time. You got some time, 10 seconds. We're gonna do it all again on the right side. We're gonna focus on the jab. Here we go. Partly equal, precision, and pace. Those are the two parts we're gonna focus on today. So the precision of the jab gives you the big rings that explode and those big points. And like Dan said, if you get your body in the right position for that short range uppercut and that hammer coming, then you get that precision, which enables you to bring the pace and score the big points. So how's your feet? Are you lifting your heel? Are you bending your knees? Have you got a good stance? 
because if you got a good stance, you got a good chance. Practice almost over. We're about to hit the combo, which means points. Ready or not? Here we go. Stand and bang. All right, roll in. Drive it down. Good. Sit down. Sit in those punches. Now, to me, this movement of short range uppercut and hammer fist. It's kind of like the action of the town crier holding the bell. Hear ye, hear ye. I present Les Mills Body Combat VR. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. Fast pace, fast pace. Down, up, down. Whoa, some of those targets come right at your face, hey. Come on, come on. Breathe, breathe. Hold on, hold on. Don't let go now. Three, two, oi. All right, last block, wide front stance. We're going to stretch and reach to the top left corner with a high jab and then a jab to the left lower corner. Yep, same thing to the right side. It's quite intuitive, this one. And because we want you to adapt it to make a nice long jab, Roll the knuckle over so the elbow comes to the outside. That's going to create more power, more results for the shoulder and the mid and upper back muscles. Bending the knees and just shifting your weight. So your feet don't move, but you do shift to the side. So let's hit some jabs, left and right. Look for the top left corner and bottom and now right. Awesome. Keep this going because in a moment, those short range isolated uppercuts and hammer fists are going to be included in this combo. It's gonna be chaotic, but you are gonna score so many points. Here it comes, come on, down the middle, down the middle. Now look for it, look for it, look, short range, got it? Up, down, short range, awesome, awesome. One, two, one, two, corner two, up, middle, middle. Middle, middle, up, down, up, down, corner, down, up. I love it. It's a puzzle and you just completed the puzzle. All right, let's get into this one. It's fast. Great boxing training, great for the shoulders. Gonna lift your heart rate up. All right, left leg forward in combat stance. Here it comes. Hook, cross, hook, and squat out the way and jab. Hook, cross, hook. Great, I'll talk you through it. Left, right, left, get down and stand up. So that's your base level movement patterns. On the squat, just remember, lift your chest, brace your abs, you drop your butt back down in line with the knees. That's how you train your legs. All right. Here it comes, we're moving on. We're slipping. And now we're uppercutting and we're slipping. Yep, jab, cross, jab. Left, right, left. Just move your shoulders just enough to get out of the way of the wall. And then come back to your center stance, keeping your guard nice and high. All right, now slam down, 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 up, down. Battle rope slams with a sky punch. Bring the hands just in front of the body. Brace your abs. Come on. All right. Hook, cross, hook, squat down, and jab. Just make sure your feet are right. Nice wide stance. Distribute your weight forward and back so you feel great. Keeping your guard up nice and high, especially when you punch. Full range. You know what's coming next, don't you? You can hear it in the music. One, two, three, slip and slip, uppercut. Yeah, that's really smooth. Now we want to try and take the score up. So here's a little tip. Every time you hit, punch harder. Now I know that's motivating as well, but when you punch harder, you'll actually score more points. Watch the target explode. All right, hit down, 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 up, down, it's quick. If you can take your arms high above the line of the shoulder, it's going to make your heart rate work harder. Let's burn some calories. Triple left jab, grab right knee. Triple left jab, 
It's when you're grabbing for the knee. You want to grab, pull, strike. So grab the target, wait for it, look at the trail. Oh, yeah! Did your knee connect with the end of the trail? Just so you see that little small target. Did you get it? Now, you got it. Awesome. All right, jab, cross, jab, slips. Now the uppercut. Combo gets put together. Triple jab. Power right knee. Oy! I <laughs> love it. I love it. We're almost at the end of halfway. Yeah, finish strong. Finish with confidence. And time. Let's do it all again by the other foot forwards. We're going to put our right foot forward combat stance with a great chance at nailing the rest of this workout. Hook, cross hook, get down and big jab. What I like about this combo is you get into the swing of things. Sorry about that pun. But you can have a tendency just to let that last jab happen. Let's try to make that a real focal point, real power through that jab. Yeah, yeah, drive out of the ground. All right, here we come, triple shot. Jab, cross, jab, two slips. And now the uppercuts. Those triple shots allow for flow. Flow comes from the shoulders and drives the core up. Soften your knees, roll the shoulders forward and back. Oh, you are dancing with those punches now. Last one. Okay, throw down hard and fast in front of you. Think about this as core training. Or like you're making the bed with a heavy, heavy, heavy duvet. Hey, last one. All right, right combat stance. Grab the knee and drive. Triple shot. Rear knee. Now that three jab is just kind of tickling with the focus of power coming off the back leg. So this time, try and drive the knee a little bit higher. Oh, yep. And then pull the hands down harder and faster, harder and faster. Nice. Put it together. Triple shot. Two slips. Roll and thunder. Uppercuts. Triple jab. Power knee. Away. I love a big combo like this. It's about confidence. Being able to think that many steps ahead. Triple shot. Big knee. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Big jab. Yeah. All that technique's paying off. 90%. Good one.